So we actually have not seen this today. This is one of the few high level player to high level player matchups that hasn't played out. Mostly because uh, a young Marth got in the way. <laughs> uh, and the last time I saw this play out, it was TGL. And Albert took. I, I think Albert. I forget if who won the first set and who lost it, but they, they went 1 1. So th it, it's been a hot minute, I think, since this, this has played out. And. Uh, so he's already already taken a lead, but uh, Albert's kind of calling him out for not actually being fast enough on those uh, tech chases. And he is having a hell of a time actually trying to kill Albert. Ooh, wow. Yeah, he really limited where he could go there. Even if he went straight up, Albert was going to get back to stage fast enough for him to set up a F smash or F tilt. But use invincibility cleans it up. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened on the first stock, but Albert kind of fell off the map. Uh, or he got shined off, something like that. So yeah, Albert's been kind of coming behind. Oh, but there you go. That was um, that was really unfortunate. That was almost a chance to even it up. You get what looks to me like a like a lucky side B. I don't know if it actually is or not. Oh wow. Oh Albert. I don't think Albert thought he was going to get up attack. I thought uh, I think Albert was thinking um, he was going to come up from the edge with a shine bear. Just tried to good player him out with a short. By the way, Blue's got to win six games, so <laughs> right. we're here for a bit. Yep, y'all are stuck with us for a while. Albert, one of Albert's strengths is adaptation, so. Yeah, I can't remember one of the other games I saw, but Albert kind of did bad in the first set, but on the reset came out and just dominated. So I imagine he likes to think he can do that. It's it's definitely like if you if you go back to a lot of what Albert was saying, uh, sorry, one of the, the posts that like got Albert known on a national level, which is like his training post he made on the Reddit a long time ago. One of the things is that like he constantly goes over his set, so he's definitely more of a interactions kind of guy. He's definitely more focused on that than necessarily hitting a lot of buttons really fast, even though he is very good at he that. He is good at that, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my what goodness. A, what a hard read. Uh, he, he just spent two bars getting that. <laughs> um, that being said, like, Billy took a lot of percent there before he went down. And uh, this is not a matchup where you can really afford that. You gotta be killing people off one or two combos. Especially when you're facing somebody like Billy who does kill people off one or two combos. Yep. He was looking very good in his past two two games in this win run through losers. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking rough right now. And we all know that he can fall back to his ice climbers if he has to. The things start going rough for him. And when the counting begins, I actually don't. I actually, I don't, I don't know how that works. I don't, I don't know. How, I think Albert actually generally does pretty well against ice climbers. I would imagine, yeah. Unless uh, some somebody's got the secret in to tell. Okay. So these have been two very ugly games. Yep. Yeah, at this point, it's like, do we just reset it right now? Do okay. we? All right. And he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Let's get the final of the advanced hand warmers. <laughs> and there we go. That was a little sloppy, but it works out. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's a bit more in line with what uh, we we've come to expect from young uh, Albert. Oh, that was just some unfortunate decisions. Billy actually didn't react in time for that, but his waiting paid off, and Albert was trying to pick some of the options that are a little harder to beat on reaction. Okay, there we go. Finally, get a get a. Finally get a dare kill. Alright, 
right. Uh, that was smart of Albert. I think he held down for that uh, up smash because you don't want to get chucked into the air against Fox. He ate like two of them, and that really sucks. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god, okay. He was trying to do him dirty again like he did at TGL. He got a, a similar, like, million missed text combo. There. Ooh, yep, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it. <laughs> oh no. He's just a boy, put him down. This is what the people in the crowd are saying. Let him play. <laughs> Let him play. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Fair, fair enough. Fair play on that. That's going to also happen the other way around. Yeah, I mean, with that being said, Albert did drop those first two games. Yeah. In like 10 seconds. He's so. like, nope. All, all business now. So, yeah. As good, as good as he looked there, let's see what happens in this next one. So this is kind of weird in that FD is generally one of the one of the stages that, depending on the style of Fox and Falco, can be the Fox counter pick. Mm -hmm. So th this matchup is always very weird, and what and that uh, right player style and preference really is what comes what it comes down to in terms of like, hey, what's the counter pick? Because uh, it, it tends to change depending on the meta of the time. Like there's some things like okay, Falcon taking. Mars to FD or Dreamland is always going to be the counter pick. It's yeah. not going to get better than that. Peach is always going to bring characters to Dreamland as the counter pick. It's really not going to get better than that. Yep. But in this, yeah, historically, this has changed up a lot. It's a lot about player preference. Yeah, it just reminds me of the Pokemon that have advantages against each other, uh, and they just both hit each other for max amounts of damage. Like that's what this matchup reminds me of. That was a really good decision. I think a lot of Foxes there would either have opted for an up smash or a back air. And uh, you just turn around and up smash and actually just do as percents. Hey, when in doubt, up smash. Not a bad idea. Um, but as I was, I was saying all that, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know how we got here. Oh, there was uh, two kind of SDs from, from Billy Bo Peep. Um, but in these last two stocks, he's been making it look really good, so surely Albert can't throw this. Oh, we, we've seen one today. <laughs> All right, now we're going to game five. This has been this has been a really quick set. We're yeah. going to game five. What a this could this could be the like least satisfying grand final set ever. Uh, as we were talking about the reverse 3-0. <laughs> right. All right, you know what? This is actually a lot smar smarter on uh, Billy's part. This gets rid of uh, some of the advantages of that, but he, he definitely wanted more space, which I think is what was helping him on Battlefield a bit too, just not FD because uh, Albert was giving him the uh, whole combo. Oof. All right, here we go. Good start. Then again, this stage is also pretty great for Falcon. He gets the gets more space to set up lasers. He gets more horizontal. But yeah, it's all preference. <laughs> uh, apparently, he Jake thirteen times once. That one thousand is uh, what Blue's Clues is saying from the crowd. Uh, it's the, these are the insights we need. Yeah, the Jake 13 8.0. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Billy's doing a real good job of keeping Albert on the ledge, and Albert's doing a good job of mixing up his recoveries, but yeah. you know, like, Billy's generally getting a lot out of that. <laughs> the big brain plays. Right, <laughs> the spot dodge in the Space Animals matchup. That was actually a really sick shine he did as he was landing, because that's definitely where a lot of foxes would have up smashed out of shield. He was trying to catch him on that. <laughs> spot dodging against the opponent's spot dodge. Next level meta. I, I think there's nothing a space animal is more afraid of than being in shield next to another space animal <laughs> who is also in shield. It feels like such a zero-sum game. Right. <laughs> They're just like, can we just both wave dash away and yeah. like, restart this? I don't like where we are. <laughs> and then one person says okay, then the other yeah. person up smashes, yeah. and you're like, yeah. I trusted you, man. <laughs> I trust. It's, it's really a prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, jab up smash. 
Ooh, they both jab up smash and click. Oh my god, he caught him. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, you're gonna you're gonna do the the classic light shield on platform. Be uh uh make me. <laughs> oh wow. Oh man. Again, good angle. Was able to it was definitely like a guaranteed edge guard, and it was just that Philly wasn't quite crisp enough to get, to get it. Mm -hmm. um, but it was. It really does go to show, like, how much does it just look like people are covering everything, and how much are they actually covering everything? Right. And all all of this sock has been set up by Billy Bo Peep going high instead of low, and making it back on the map. Billy showing us the 2019 meta of actually having ops attacks. Wow, that really matters, and I cannot believe Albert lived on that. I he do literally had he literally had the entire stage to be it, so it's like I feel like anywhere else on that stage that happens, he's done. Oh man, Albert complaining. All right, we have been reset. That's interesting. Um, I feel like Albert just feels like he wasn't really moving well, and that's why he's willing to go back to to this. Because otherwise, like I, I don't know, I, w I would probably like try striking and see where you can get. Yeah, I mean, you know, other maps are working out well for you, but surely everybody thinks they can win on on battlefield, right? I mean, that's just part of the ego. Speaking Ooh. speaking as the person who literally played all three of his on stream games on <laughs> battlefield, <laughs> got washed. I was gonna say, normally when you play all three games on the same map, it's uh, it's not a good thing for Look, you. As far as I was concerned, <laughs> I was allowed to have my counter pick three times in a row. <laughs> uh, you were giving us quality highlights, though. You were chasing like a bad man like you normally do. Yeah, but then uh, I was doing that thing where I was like, oh, I'll just nipple spawn stop him to finish him off instead of just kneeing him. Because I'm a caveman degenerate. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, oh, he, he cleaned it up. He just guessed real good. <laughs> that was definitely, uh, trying to chump check some scenario. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I can't imagine that's... momentum a little bit here. Yeah, it's been a long day for us. Yeah. And also, yeah, then there, there's It's also like not that. not the most uh, inspiring play. As somebody else said, it's very rare to get two players peak form playing well, playing hot at the same time. Yeah. Well, I figured out a couple of stages he was doing well on, so we're back to one of them. Unfortunately, we're I think we're about to just, ooh, just, just walk up past him. Just walk by. Uh, I think we might be getting to see the uh, other end of the matchup on this stage, maybe. Nope. <laughs> nope. Just, nope. just keep talking and see what happens. He's like, no, sit down. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, both these characters, one way or another, blow each other up off, sending, them s sending the other character upwards. Yep. And where uh, Fox just relies on his good old pal Gravity to send him back down. Falco gets back up, uh, gets up there, and gives it a little boost. Yeah. If you've never experienced the joys of Dow Dare spiking somebody as a Falco, go go download a certain emulator and play. Because yeah, Nintendo won't let you have it. <laughs> as far as they're concerned. Come on, guys. Super Smash Brothers. A Lee? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a party game. You play with your friends. What? The, what? the game? Cube? <laughs> Was it? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. We put out six, Superman uh, 64 for that, right? <laughs> like, no, no that's, that, that has 64 in the name. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that that thing we uh, canceled with Sony? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that... 
That's one of the tricky things. It's something I'm curious about, and I'd actually like to pick uh, Albert and Billy's brain on, is um, why whenever Falco goes for the up throw, isn't he just SDIing behind? Because from what I understand, that makes it very difficult for Falco to follow up. But I'm sure that like the throw mix-ups are actually... Oh my god. Just parried his entire life. <laughs> Might just be able to pull this one back. I'd actually be really scared right now if I was uh, I was Albert. Because, Absolutely. Uh, oh my God! Wow. Next level. Advancing the meta. He hit him with the basement. <laughs> the basement tech. <laughs> Mom said it's I turn to play. <laughs> oh my. Oh, let's get that replay. That's going. Oh no, he's playing too much ultimate. Uh, oh no, Al Albert has to defend himself against the crowd. He sets out for their boys like you limited all limited all of us today. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, he's playing angry now. Right, he just bomb soldier the shit out of <laughs> Billy. Billy's like, no, stay down there. Stay stay over there. Ooh, that was uh, definitely an angry F smash. <laughs> he charged it a little, a little extra longer than he should have. Good, good covering of the options. Oh, <laughs> You know what, I bet Albert has an actual reason for why he's doing it, but it really just looks like he's just, he's very upset. <laughs> he does look, yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know how much people know the body language of Albert, but. It's like, how dare. Oh my god. <laughs> Granted, Billy's still sitting pretty two games up. It's, it's kind of fine, and uh, Again, though he's got a lot of scouting info for like what maps were were working for him. Yep. Also, you know what? We we were thinking the last one was over, and he pulled it back. So it's yeah, not, it's yeah. actually not yeah. too late. Yep, and that, that's how it starts. Oh, well, never mind. Back on the round you go. Yeah, go back to neutral. I think we're going to see this set with yeah. another F smash. <laughs> <laughs> I think Albert literally just won't allow Dan any other way. Good old Shine down here. The cerebral plays, according to College Station. All right, so Albert's now set himself up. He's got to reverse 3 0 it. If anybody can do it, it's Albert. How much FOMO do you think uh, Tierno has right now? I don't know. Uh, he could also Tierno could also be in Houston right now, for all I know. Right. That could have been what the uh was for. It's like, uh, I don't need some family. <laughs> I actually talked to this, but uh, here's like, why he doesn't go to that many Saturday tournaments? And it, it just ultimately comes down to like. Oh, he's a working man. He knows. But I mean, just like in, even in his own city, and it's like, well, he goes to like visit family in Houston yep. like every every other weekend and it's like oh, it's kind of like sit at the curb and chill this weekend. No, trust me, I understand. When you're when you're working, those weekends are precious. Yeah, I was uh it was making me really debate coming today. <laughs> so like, I was like, no, it's 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 just right over there. I bet I bet it was the ramen that sealed the deal, right? Uh, You're like, well, oh, yeah, let's I can get not some let's let's not mince words. <laughs> I already went to Tatsuya. <laughs> yeah, for first ramen. Yeah. There's still a second ramen. They haven't heard of second ramen. <laughs> I think that's the actual point is Japanese, uh, like an other Japanese. Oh, you're right, 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 right. And I'm just like, you know what? Okay, I, I've had. Uh, <laughs> I've already accomplished everything I set out to do. Yep. Oh, Albert. Tragic. And Billy's shaking his head at that, dude. He doesn't like that. Billy wants to take your pride from you himself. Absolutely. <laughs> he wants all of it. All right, he That's doesn't just want fine. part of it. Phil, right. don't talk to me about second fall. You're not even here. <laughs> uh, 
All right, here we go. Real tense. Two stock, two stock. This is on Albert's counter pick. I felt so bad today, Phil. Phil like I was sitting here making Mal work, sit here and work, and be like, yeah, don't let San Antonio fight San Antonio, and, uh, and then, like none of the rest of San Antonio even showed up. Aww. He rewrote the bracket three times for us. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a. Uh, Classic. Oh my god. Every, everybody's hitting a few too many buttons. Man, I don't understand what's going on. Uh, you know what? Right, this is going. We're going for Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is fat fettuccine right now. <laughs> uh, there we go. Cool, last stock each. This might be Albert's last stock of the tournament. Especially considering where he is right now. Oh, God. In there the you corner. go. He's got out. He got, oh, wait, no, he's back no, in. He's back he's in. Back in. <laughs> Put Falco with that core, dude. Ah, there he is. Now he. Oh, my God. He was trying. He's really trying to big brain him out of here. <laughs> oh, he's knocked down. He's in the other corner now. <laughs> Neither, Back neither, to the corner. Neither Space Animal really able to get a good combo going. Just a whole bunch of... Uh, this is looking... Wow. Albert just... Oh! No, he's not oh, dead yet. Oh, he's not dead, though. Oh, my. Oh, wait. Wow, I didn't use any of his jumps. Oh, this is oh! the back here. Oh, Albert! Wispy is not being a friend right now. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. it. All right, Billy seals it. Wow. Incredible. Billy taking it all the way from the loser's bracket. Going through to go up against Albert. He might be, uh, you know, splitting his time between Smash games. Might be, might be playing against him at the moment. Good guy, Albert, taking the dive so it doesn't look like he was just feeding himself money. Right. Look, we all we all we all we all know that Albert was just showing up for appearances. Okay, you know, technically, do, we, do you want to get him on the mic? Do you want do you want to defend yourself, Albert? Do you want to, yeah? Do you want to, do you want to talk about your uh, you got, any, you got any last words you want to give, give to the people? What do you mean last words? Oh yeah, that's 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 why we're going out for dinner. You're dying, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, there's a part of me that's like. Uh, if I just had a little more tech skill, I would have won. But also, it's no like I wanted to like credit Billy for sure. Like he had a lot of things. Like he's super well practiced, and you can tell. Um, oh, don't ignore that. <laughs> yeah, he's super well practiced. You can tell. And also, like me having no tech skill made me play like, I guess smarter in some ways. So, um, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of things that unfortunately I couldn't get that I usually might have gotten. And then also that game where I just dropped the edge guard and died. Having a big brain needs See a lot of calories. There's a lot of spaghetti that yeah, needs so to happen. That's it. Thanks, man. All right, that was your that was your interview. And uh, I I don't know if that's it. I think redemption or is amateur brackets over. Yeah, I want to say all the other stuff is done. It's mostly just friendlies now. Yeah. Well, it's been a fun time. Yeah, it was a uh, you know really high level of talent. Really low numbers of people for a monthly. Uh, it's a pretty interesting experience. Back to the old days. Um, where literally, like, <laughs> you'd have 16 people at a tournament, and it's literally just the PR. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, big shout-out to uh, Houston and Dallas traveling here. You know, my boy from San Antonio right next to me traveling out to this Austin monthly. <laughs> uh, we will not repeat those words that Billy Bob Hughes said. <laughs> Uh, mentioning how he was playing. Remember, kids, winners do drugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, no winner interview now. Yeah, just a loser interview. This, what, 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 how high how high production do you think this is? No winner interviews. <laughs> no, this this we're just looking for content. Yeah, right. Content. And it's a lot better to talk to the person who lost if you want the content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always weird to me in, in sports when they do that because it's so like, man, after I lose, I don't want to talk to anybody. So what you, that, that's what, that's why you uh, get the other uh, NFL players to actually like be 
be the interviewers. So right. if the fist fight breaks out, it's still a good show. It's still good, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think interviewing is fine. Uh, usually, interviewing someone when they lose is bad. It's not a good thing. No, it's, it's, it's not a good look. It's fine to interview right now because I don't, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Albert, Albert throwing out there that he's, uh, he's not going to be too sad if we come and talk to him. You, you had some good clips. You're playing hot there on that FD. On that, on that recent. I'm playing hot because, like, that's how tech skill works, right? Like, the, having good tech skill is having consistent tech skill. And so I still have it in me. It's just not consistent. I feel like you I have, like, the shiny moments. I feel like you just 2008 mangoed him for just that one game where it was just, like, angry Falco's here. <laughs> All right, let's, uh. You were just, like, stop right. running at me. 